In this video, we're going to show how we can assign and create a vertical alignment to a turnout alignment that we created between two tracks. So uh, to overview, what we're going to do is we're going to create a profile window for our turnout. We're going to project our left track alignment and our right track vertical alignment onto that profile. And then we'll use the vertical geometry tools to create a vertical alignment for our turnout between those two alignment elevations to give us a smooth transition and elevations through our turnout. To start, we're going to create a profile window um, for our horizontal alignment um, that is turnout 1-2. Uh, that is this alignment here that goes between turnout 1 to turnout 2. We're going to go create a profile. Okay, so we're going to do a window only. Okay, and we're going to add not only a vertical exaggeration, but this alignment is very short. So it's going to be hard to tie points in exactly. So we're actually going to give this a, a horizontal exaggeration as well. So we'll give this a 100 exaggeration for our horizontal. And then our controls, uh, we know that this project goes between uh, high elevation is like 250 and low elevation is 240. So we're just going to use this elevation for our profile window. We can click on Kogo points and kind of get a little bit of smaller window since we're exaggerating it so much. Okay, so we hit apply. I'm going to come out. I'm going to place this profile, and this profile is going to be the profile for our turnout. As you can see, it's very long, but we created that 100 exaggeration horizontally, uh, so we can have a little bit more room to tie tie this together. Okay, so now that the window is created. We want to go in and project the, the right track and our left track, which is our horizontal regression alignment, onto our new profile window for our turnout. We're going to go to Evaluation Profile, uh, Alignments to Profile. Okay, so we're going to do this in two steps because I want a different, uh, a different display uh, for the line symbology for each alignment so I know which one is correct. So I'm going to choose the correct. Uh, profile. Now, before I get started, I want to make sure that uh, my style lock, uh, or under my style, I don't have the delete ink on because I, I want to run this more than once and have different symbology displayed. So I'm going to do this profile set, and the alignment I want to project is going to be a horizontal regress. A horizontal regress. I'm going to select apply. You see that I get a vertical profile in this window. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to change the symbology and make it a different color. I'm going to do this now to my right track. Apply. Okay, so you can see that we have our horizontal regression is our blue line, and our right track is our green line. Okay, so let's look at the geometry of the turnout itself so we know how to place this alignment. So for this first turnout, we're actually coming along our horizontal regress, our horizontal regress uh, alignment, and we turn out into our right track. So we want to follow, we want to follow along the lines of uh, going from our horizontal regression elevations over to our right track elevations. Uh, so we're going to we're going to start from a horizontal alignment and go into our right track alignment. So we want to create a new vertical. Now we're going to use the, the vertical curve set tools to create our transition uh, along, this, uh, along this profile. Okay, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snap and create PIs and I want to snap first to this line. And then I'm going to snap again to the same line because I want it to pick up the same grade. Uh, that way, as, as we're coming out of one alignment into the other, we follow the same grade uh, for our, our curve that we're going to place in here, our um, reverse curve, to go to the grade of our second alignment. Okay, so I'm going to come in and I'm going to snap to this alignment. And then we're going to, from that point, now we're going to move down and we're going to transition down to our right track. 
Okay, and once we get that point, and then we're going to snap to the end of that right track alignment. Okay, and now we can finish. So now we have linear here, but we want to add in some vertical curves. So we'll come up to the, the vertical curve set, define curve. Okay. So now we're going to use the define vertical curve set tool to find our vertical curves in this vertical alignment. Uh, this turnout length is only about 50 meters long. So our first curve, we want to make sure it's less than half of that. So we're going to put in a value of 20 and apply. Then we're going to move to our next a lot, our next curve set, and we'll put in a length of 15 meters. Okay. We'll apply that, and we can close. And now we have a vertical created for our turnout that goes along our horizontal regression alignment. And then it goes into a, a circular element. We have a linear element that connects the reverse curve. Then it ties back into the grade of our right track alignment. If we do a, if we check the integrity on this alignment, you'll see that we have our linear parabola, linear parabola, and linear. And all of our geometry integrity checks out good. So for this video, we went through creating a vertical alignment for our turnout to transition from one alignment to another.